Alright, so we're hoping for an HR queen here. Of course, this guy, this guy's getting lucky. He's, uh, he hits both of them. Um, and like I said, that's good. You know, we want, we don't want him to get, uh, too crazy and get a huge stack, but as long as he's winning these pots and, you know, taking out the smaller stacks, that's fine with us. We'd like to, uh, just come. You know, keep sitting back with our 2700 here, still in second place like we've been ever since that uh, that ace king hand. And as the blinds get get increase, you know, I'm gonna start opening up up my game a little more. But even the 2550 level, um, there's no really real need to to make a move yet. Um, flop top pair here with the all diamond. Um, all diamond board so I have to raise top pair just to try to get a flush draw out this guy might have just bet like a, a high diamond so um, you know I raise here just to see where I'm at if he called that means he had a high diamond um, if he re-raises he might have already had to flush or like a set or something like that but it looks like he didn't have either because he just folded um, get a limp from that bad player but the chip leader limp too so I can't raise an ace four if it was just uh, this no name ID guy I would have definitely raised an ace ace four because that's that's likely better than any hand that he would limp with but chip leader got involved in that pot so I can't play it I'm just gonna check fold here He gets a weak call from the um, big blind, probably on the spade draw. Maybe a two, maybe an eight too, but uh, probably just spades. If he has an eight, he'll probably check raise here on the turn. Um, if he has spades, he'll check call, especially like that 50 bet right there. He'll raise it. All right, he's got spades then. So he'll probably check... Um, check and fold this river even for 50 yeah I think the guy on my left had had spades for sure and who knows what the uh, no name ID guy had still don't have a read on him when he has a hand just uh, I just know that when he limps he's got garbage Finally, he gets raised pre-flop when he limps. Um, and he calls, so... It's also a good sign. Interesting little uh, check raise here. Probably not going to work for him though. So uh, this is the point in the game where um, chick stacks are going to start becoming more of a factor. Uh, I've got 2,700 now. Chip leader's got almost 6,000. There's two uh, pretty much $1,000 stacks and then a $2,000 stack. So um, you know what this means is I'm gonna have to play I'm just gonna bet 200 here see what he does I have you know bottom pair uh, I didn't I improved there so I'm just gonna continue to bet this guy um, you know he'll probably pay me off the queen here I'm definitely gonna call his all in with two pair but I didn't want to check there because you know he might have been on a draw there's a lot of a lot of stuff to be scared of on the river there um, but we improve our chip position here and we've got 3200 now and uh, we're looking good we've got one bad player that likes he's just spewing chips right now um, 
We got another one that's sitting back. I don't think he's played many pots. Jay Gallo. Yeah, that guy has only won one pot. And what do you have there? He had a flush on that pot. That's the only pot he's won all game. So um, that guy's a pretty tight player. If he raises right here, I'm definitely going to fold. You know, anytime he plays, I'm just going to go ahead and fold because, you know, he hasn't played any pots. He could have anything. Um, damn. Wish I could raise, but a 10 2 is not a good raising, raising hand, even against a, a guy that'll play any hand, anything. But like I said, if I had a 10 queen right there, I probably would have raised real big. Almost put them all in, probably. Because he could he could likely have anything. And I'm not going to put him on an ace, so I'm going to go ahead and just bet this, see what he does. Because I don't think he has an ace. I don't think he'd limp on the button there with an ace. Uh, he min raises. Well, that's his play. Um, I'm just going to give him this pot. Probably a stupid bet to bet there with that ace. But that's okay. I mean, it was only 100 chips. And uh, like I said earlier, that this um, the big blind here, he's a real tight player. So, you know, I'm going to raise. Uh, I'm just going to raise probably any time preflop because he's he's so tight he's not going to play unless he has a good hand so you know he'll fold most of his hands here I'd say he'd probably play like a king jack or better so against that range you know like a pocket pair or king jack or better I mean there's way too many hands out there that he's going to fold so I, I feel justified in raising that 8-4 And I mean, I probably won't raise every time. I'll uh, I'll try to mix it up and just limp and then bet the flop, just to you know make him think or not. You know, hopefully he won't start to uh, to feel that you know I'm just raising every hand and start to play back at me. But Ace Ten here, just make it three times the big blind against this bad player. Wouldn't mind him going all in. I want the big stack out of there because I don't want to play a pop versus him. Uh, well, that sucks. Um, it's not a horrible flop for us, really. But I don't think I'm going to bet it. I don't know. I might bet it. It's kind of borderline because the big the big stack could could check and um you know and then raise me out of the pot. Um, this player just goes all in. That's a pretty good bet. I can't call it an ace ten, so I'm gonna have to just fold it. Probably, you know, I still think I probably had the best hand against him, but I'm not gonna uh, play down to a bad player's level, you know, make a bad call with a weak hand just because I don't think he ever plays any any good cards you know he might have he might have actually had a good hand that time so that's one mistake that a lot of people make you know they they peg a guy as a bad player and then uh and then they just play bad against them you know they're like oh this guy can't have anything why would he do that and they call with like an ace ace high there um, you know even if I thought I had the best hand there, I think it's still right to fold. If he would have checked, I would have probably bet half of his stack, and then he could have gone all in, and I would have called. But, um, you know, that didn't happen. He just went all in for before I had a chance.
So we get pocket sixes here. Um, the tightest player at the table just limps. Uh, I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play back at anyone here. I uh, just hope to flop a set, you know, and uh, take it from there. We don't flop anything, so um, I'm just going to check fold this one here. And this guy does another one of his min raises. Um, I would think that that means he has a 10. And it looks like we'll see it. I don't think this guy makes his play with a 10. I think he's got a king something. You know, maybe a king queen. Oh, oh, this is definitely a 10 right here, though. Um, three way all in. Wow. Okay, this guy did have a 10. 10 queen, 10 5, ace king. Huh, interesting. Oh, 10 5. That's a pretty bad beat right there. But, you know, helps us. We're going to get in the money here, it looks like now. Uh, short stack's only got 300 chips. So, it's looking pretty good for us. Um, no reason for me to play a pot against the chip leader. I'm just going to go fold that. Again, not going to raise a um, seven high versus a guy that's going to be committed to call. And uh, looks like that guy sucks out here. Um, doubles up, but that's all right. Uh, seven, eight suited. Just because this guy could go all in, I'm going to fold at that time. Um, any other situation, like four-handed, where a lot of people had, had ships, I'd most likely raise there. Um, and I don't want to see a heart right now. And of course, I would have made a flush. Just throw a jack of hearts up there so I can really be mad and make a straight flush. Oh, jack. But so those are straight on the board. Um, ace ace high would probably take this take this pot down. Nope. Okay. Well, uh, this short stack's playing a lot of pots. It's good for us if we hit anything. Pretty much on a flop, um, we're going to be in a good spot to take his chips. But, you know, I'm third in chips right now, so there's no need for me to play stupid and, and uh, play a big pot with anybody. I'm more content in just playing solid again still and uh, making the money and uh, turning it up a notch once we're in the money. If uh, if the short stack had any more chips, I'd be aggressive right now. But there's just no sense in being, you know, really aggressive when this guy's so short stack that he's gonna bust anytime soon. There we go. Finally, a raise free flop. And the guy's weak that he's been calling these raises once he limps in. 
which is why he finds himself in this spot to be short stacked. Um, hopefully this guy can take him out in this hand here. For a raised pot, it looks like a pretty good board to, um, to play. Alright, good. So he takes him out. 